This can go from daytime to nighttime to school runs to party to wedding to bridal. Okay, this is actually glueless. Like aside that tab here, this there is no other glue. Nothing, nothing. Okay, nothing. I can even pull it. I can pull it front if I want to. See now, I can pull it front if I want to. Like nothing. What's up, you guys? How you doing? You guys, I have another wig from Clayey Hair to show you guys and this wig is one of their best sellers. I have reviewed their other best seller before which is the 7x5 Yaki Straight but this one is a 13x4 Yaki Straight okay so this is like a full lace frontal and this one is more versatile okay so yeah this is the packaging that it comes with they always put their box in a satin bag and yeah this is the box flyy hair this is the wig but let me just show you what is inside the box the box always comes with goodies okay it always comes with really nice things and yeah so inside this organza bag you have your wig cap you have your press on nails and your edge band then you also have another satin bag so this one is the one that you can use to store your wig afterwards and inside the satin bag you have lots of goodies okay so you have two different <laughs> you have two different hair brushes you also have a white tooth comb oh i like this comb you also have a white tooth comb you have a metal tail comb and you also have hair clips and you also have yeah different types of hair clips so yeah this is the wig this is a yaki straight wig you guys know how much I love Yaki Straight and Clay hair is one of the best in the game when it comes to Yaki Straight textures. This texture is so soft. You guys just look at this. It's always so soft and so nice but it is not like irritating to the skin okay you guys get what i mean yeah look at it it's very nice this is in 20 inches this is the lace it is a 13 by 4 lace front and it has been pre-plugged pre-bleached um pre-cut for you okay it has already been cut and it actually comes with a tape so that you can wear it glueless you guys like Imagine wearing a frontal glueless, you guys, it's always the best, okay, because you get the best of both worlds. Like, you're not using glue and trying to make it look neat and all of that, but you can actually pat it anywhere because it is more versatile, okay? You have more lace space to pat it and style it and pack it and whatever. So that is why this is very, very interesting to me. And I can't wait to try it, okay? And these are the tapes, yeah, I can't wait to try it with these tapes. To just tape it around the edges um, but let's just look at the wig cap so this is the wig cap it's a stretchy wig cap it also comes with a comb here to secure it to your head and you know these adjustable straps here um it's, it looks quite interesting so let me just go ahead now and put it on my head oh i like how comfortable this is nice oh nice you can totally wear this glueless okay this is so nice so these are the air tabs so when i'm ready i'm just going to remove it and just glue it here and here just to secure it to your head but you can style it anyway however from what i'm experiencing even if you don't use these air tabs like if you want to just wear it as center part like just this bust down center part you can actually do it without even putting the air tabs okay but if you want to do other styles obviously like you want to pack it up you want to make a ponytail or half up half down kind of hairstyle then you just use the ear tabs to secure it and you're good to go okay so that is what it looks like just out of the box i want to go ahead now and you know blend the lace a little more um yeah just blend a little more and then i will style the hair from what i saw with the previous one i reviewed which is the seven by five the hair takes heat okay so you can you can straighten it you can coil it I actually coiled mine so you can straighten it you can coil it you can you know just change change things up once in a while okay so yeah let me just go ahead and blend this lace i'm not doing much i'm just going to use my foundation brush to color it i just you know what's left of my foundation brush like i'm not adding new foundation i'll just take what's left of my foundation brush and just you know go around the lace are you guys seeing the difference already it's made a world of difference
Okay, so I'm done blending the lace now. I think it looks good. Even though when I'm done, I'll still do another blending, but I think it looks good. So I want to go ahead and use the ear tabs. So basically, these are just like double-sided tapes. So these are what the tapes look like. They are double-sided tapes. So if you want to put it like everywhere, you can just, you know, take more and put, but there's really no point. They've already done most of the work for you by putting it by themselves, okay? So that makes things very easy, but for subsequent use, they also have like this one included so that for subsequent use, you can just, you know, change it out and put new ones, okay? Um, so let me just go ahead and peel it off. Very simple, just peel it off. Then make sure you go to where you want to place it and just place it. Okay, just did you guys see that? Ooh! Did you guys see that? Did you see how easy that was? Oh my goodness, this feels so good. Did you guys see how easy that was? Just go ahead and place it, and you're good to go. Okay, so let me do it for this part. So, this is it, you peel it off. Make sure you go to where you want to place it and just place it there. So mess free, like nothing like you're, you're putting glue, the glue is going around your face and just touching all of everywhere. <laughs> Because that's probably what I have with, you know, putting frontals when I'm trying to spray, either I'm using spray or I'm using the normal glue, especially the spray. When you're spraying it, it's just coming down your face and just messing up your makeup or messing up your skin. It's so annoying, but this one is so mess free, so easy. Like, okay. <laughs> um, so, I can actually add more just down here if I want to, but I don't think I want to. Okay, so I'm going to use most to just play around with the edges a little bit to make it blend in some more and make it look more realistic, okay? You guys know that this is a yucky texture, so it looks like our natural hair when we straighten it or when we, you know, um, give it a silk press, right? So, in order to make the edges look more realistic, not too laid, not too, you know, you guys know that look. If you don't want that look, but you want it to look like it is growing from your scalp, then you can just mess around with the edges a little bit. You guys can see, I've already done it a little bit. So just mess around with it a little bit and then apply most and tie it down. It will look more realistic that way, okay? that's okay the way it is let me go ahead and tie it down when i remove the band i can still work on it some more but for now i'm kind of satisfied with how it looks I guess see how realistic this thing looks. I've not even tied it down no. Even without straightening it, once you brush the hair, it always looks good. You can just shake this wig, brush it if you want, and you are good to go. It is so easy, so versatile, and so nice. I like it. So anyway, this is it all brushed out. But I'm going to go ahead now and straighten it. It takes heat well, so I'm happy about that. This is a blow dry brush, so you can use this to straighten your hair basically. You can set it on high and just brush your hair and to straighten your hair. Okay, are you guys seeing how straight this hair is now? Just let me go back so you can see the full length. Yeah, so this is 20 inches. I've straightened it, but I don't want it to become too silky. That is why I haven't used like a flat iron on it. If you want to use a flat iron, you can go ahead and do that. But I don't want it to be too silky. I actually like it with some body. In fact, I feel like I've already gotten it <laughs> more silky than I would have actually typically loved. Which is not bad anyway. And when you wash it and condition it and all of that, some of the texture will come back and it will look you know, like your natural hairs. Hmm. You guys, are you seeing how realistic this looks? Just look at this hairline, you guys. Can you tell that this is not my hair? Nobody can tell me that this is not my hair. What proof do you have that this is not my hair? <laughs> Ok, 
okay so this is it as a full ponytail do you guys like it i like it you guys i'm going to leave a link to this wig and all the details about it everything you need to know about this wig is going to be in the description box okay but just look at how it looks like it is my natural hair like you can't tell me nothing okay you can't tell me nothing like i was just going to curl down here because i wanted to have some you know texture some movement some character you guys this wig is not going anywhere without glue without glue can you see this you don't have any excuse of oh i don't know how to lay my front out mm -mm. they made it easy for you okay so just go and get it So I'm done coiling it now. Let me just go ahead now and brush it out. Cause I mean, I'm not trying to get like curls, but I just wanted it to have some body and it does now, which is good. Just look at how nice these curls are looking. This hair really takes heat because I used a lot of heat to actually, you know, coil it. And it's looking good, still soft, not crunchy, just perfect. So let me brush it out. So yeah, I like it this way. If you want it to have some body, you can just add curls to it and it will pop, okay? It's looking really good. Nice. So now let me make it a half up, half down hairstyle. Alright guys, that's it for this wig. If you want to get this wig, if you want to look like me, okay, just check my description box. I'm going to have all the details there and the link there as well. This wig is so pretty. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this wig, let me know, okay? And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.